What's up there YouTube, this is Nishoba here from Rotten Egg Creations and Authentic Plays and I just wanted to have a shout out real quick for everyone out there on YouTube of what's going on with Rotten Egg Creations right now and this is completely separate from our Let's Plays that we're trying to get started here. I just want to give a shout out now because this kind of hits close to home for us. Not because we're Hoosiers or from Indiana or anything like that, but we do have a lot of friends at Indiana. We have convention. We have a convention at Indiana that's a part of our peeps, you could say. And um, what just kind of happened is disgusting. So I'll give you a little rundown about the Indiana law. If you, you've a lot of everyone's everyone's heard about it now. A lot of people are shocked. Apple's uh, own Tim Cook literally wrote a p uh, page in the Washington Post about how horrible this law is. So let's not beat around the bush. This is discrimination. This bill is for discrimination against gay people. You can try to say that there's 30 other states that have laws like this, which is true. They do have Religious Freedom Restoration Acts, but none of them that are certainly passed yet. Arkansas will be the second. But none of them passed yet are bills that basically say private parties and businesses can use this law. Now, that doesn't just mean that a business can put up a no gays allowed sign outside or whatnot. It literally means that if they do something like that, people like us can't say, whoa, wait a minute here. This is, this is you know, against business, this is against commerce, this is against discrimination laws. We're going to sue you. Well, what really happens is that this is going to allow people to pretty much get away in court with lawsuits who do these sorts of things. So you don't want to, or you kick a gay person out of your restaurant because they're gay or a gay couple. Um, technically, that couple cannot sue you. And you're free to continue to do that. You're free to deny people their right to service. Now, a lot of other people have said, hey, this bill also affects other people. But the actual reality is, is that other people, other minorities, they have the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which covers pretty much every other minority. So if a Christian were to put up a sign that says no Jews allowed or no Muslims are allowed or even no blacks allowed, technically because of that act, which protects um, religion, race, ethnicity, what it basically happens is that those federal rights trump the state rights. They they trump the state's rights, and therefore those actual those minorities are actually protected. So they they really can't deny them. So then it falls down to gay people. There is no protection for us gay people uh, at the federal level. One fix that people have talked about is simply adding sexual orientation as a protected class under the state civil rights laws. Will you push for that? Uh, I will not push for that. That's uh, that's not on my agenda, and that's not been. Uh... Uh, that's not been an objective uh, of uh, the people of the state of Indiana. There is no Employment Non-Discrimination Act. There is no adding us to the Civil Rights Act in 1964. And thus, we're the ones who really are targeted by this thing, and we're the ones who are technically fucked. We're, we're fucked beyond repair with this bill. And there's nothing we can do about it. And then it comes to the case that if the federal government were to pass a federal statute that protects us, which they won't do because it's failed for the last 30 years, uh, and it definitely will not pass now if the Congress and uh, Senate that we have, but if it were, there's also the case of retroactivity. And the state can claim that for a period of time until the Supreme Court weighs in on it. And the way these cases are going, it's most likely we're going to see another court battle in the next five to ten years that will look at this case. And the Supreme Court will have to clarify, especially its Hobby Lobby case. Um, for those of you who don't know what that was, please Google it. I could go on for two hours about that case and how horrible it was Excuse me, for uh, people, for, for anyone in general. Because it basically said religious uh, corporations... Are, can have their own religious entities. It basically person it makes them people even more so than they already are, they were, um, and so what it will also do is it also allows them to say that they're they have religion and therefore the religion cannot be hurt. And the federal version of the Freedom Restoration Act applies to them, which it never did. It applied to originally Native Americans who were going to lose their land to corporations. So yay, yeah. But either way, back to the Indiana law. Right now, there is nothing we can do about it except for fight it in the courts and have more businesses come out against it. And if you're a person who is trying to figure this out, uh, try to support it in some way, or not support it, but to oppose it in some way, just remember that the best way to do it 
is to be vocal and to know the laws out there. I see a lot of people, I see a lot of gay people, I see a lot of, of other individuals who I I still have some, I, I still respect them, but a little bit less. Say, well, 30 other states have this bill. Don't look at us. You know who you are. But either way, they're saying that. The reality is, is that 30 states do have a this bill passed, but it does not allow for, it does not in any way allow for people to openly, businesses and people to openly discriminate on the basis of the religion without any uh, consequence. This bill does. So look forward to that video. We're going to be working on it soon. I'm the show Fennec here. Have a good night.